think what's really special about Douglas College Health Sciences is we use technology and learning in a way that's very student focused and very student centered. So we want our learners to be engaged in the learning process and not just passive learners. Those kinds of environments are really support the student to grasp content in a way that has meaning for them. Simulation has been around for a long time and here at Douglas College we have a lovely state-of-the-art simulation center where we have simulated rooms that represent hospital rooms, we have communication labs, and we have lab areas where students can actually practice skills and learn new skills. So we have four large um, skills labs where the students come in and practice their skills for nursing, for healthcare support working, um, for psychiatric nursing. We also have three simulation rooms where the students prepare for scenarios. So they would be working in groups and we really try and make it authentic, you know, to the, what the students would actually see when they're in, you know, retirement homes, healthcare homes, hospital healthcare centers. We have, of course, computer labs um, that have all the software that's required to support their learning. We have communication labs where students can practice their, um, their verbal skills, their communication and assessment skills. And then we have simulation labs as well. Um, the other thing that we use extensively are browser-based um, software, digital content, e-textbooks. All of that aligns with the, the learning outcomes required for the classroom. We also have a home health lab, which is primarily used by our personal support work and mental health group. You know, it really looks like a mini apartment, so the students are able to, you know, go in and work with um, sometimes actors, sometimes our high fidelity mannequins, and it gives them the opportunity to assess the situation and to make decisions based on how they're supposed to, you know, maybe give patients uh, medication, maybe help them after having surgery. Um, sometimes they'll have an actor come in who's, you know, home from having surgery and they really can't make their meals themselves. They don't know how to open their medications. So the students have to go in and really assess this. And this is the best place, like I said, possible for them to really understand what they're doing before they go out into, you know, a healthcare setting. So simulation is meant to support basically experiential learning, which is the students have an opportunity to take the theory they have learned, um, knowledge from maybe assessment skills, communication skills, theory they've learned in theory classes such as pharmacology take that knowledge that they have and then be able to participate in a simulated environment. So it could be from, we call it low fidelity or task trainers, where they may just be learning to demonstrate skills like listening to lungs or listening to heart sounds, to a more complicated simulated environment, which is basically done in maybe like a, our simulation um, hospital rooms. I oversee a team of experiential learning specialists and really this team works with the faculty to set up the labs and the simulations for the student learning. So it's really a chance for them to make sure that what they're setting up and what they're learning is authentic as possible. As health educators at Douglas College, everything that we do is coming from a student-centered approach. We support students by helping them be more accountable for their own learning because we find that when students have um, and are part of their learning that they will come to class more prepared and more engaged. We're really fortunate here at Douglas College. The health sciences leadership has really invested in technologies across simulation, um, multimedia, computer science areas that really support the students so that they can engage in their learning in different ways. And as the needs of our students change, so should our teaching methodologies. And that will ensure that we're remaining current, accessible, and inclusive to all of our students.